Hey everybody, it's Sarah and I am back with a Project Life Process video, believe it or not. I haven't made one in a really long time and I'm super rusty and I kind of toyed around with how to film it. So first of all, I showed you all of my pictures and the cards that I had already picked out. And then I kind of get you in close for my title card here. I've got an Amy Tangerine uh, die cut tag from that die cut pack that came out with her latest collection and actually kind of an old... Maggie Holmes shine tassel that I took the big beads off of because man do those beads make your pages thick. So I just cut the little top of that and I pulled those beads off. And then the bottom of the tassel was a little iffy so I kind of cut that off too. And I'm adding a beautiful butterfly from Jelly Bean Soup. And then I found some really old Amy Tan word thickers in my stash and they were black and I really wanted to use them because I didn't want to use white on top, like white word thickers on top of white die cut that I thought would just look weird. I also did sew on some of my cards before I started filming because watching me sew is akin to torture. So that part I edited out for you guys. And I stuck on with those beautiful glittery thickers from the Saturday, Saturday collection. And I put week 26, and then I changed it to 25, and then I looked back, and sure enough, it really was week 26. But anyhow, now you're just watching me go through my stash of Jen Hadfield every day. I've got a lot of Amy Tangerine in my summer stuff that i got to get used up. I've got a lot of Dear Lizzie. It is Saturday, right? Yeah, I think it's Saturday. Had a lot of that to use up. A lot of blue enamel dots that I wanted to use, too. I have some old, old Amy Tangerine heart enamel that I wanted to get used up to. So here I'm taking off the six, putting on the five, and then stamping with my stays on, which ended up to be the incorrect date. But at this point, I didn't know. And now, later on, now that I'm done, I don't really care. In 20 years, when I look back, I'm not going to say, oh, that was really the 19th to the whatever so but at least my next spread will at least be entering July that's that's making progress for me and then I try to use a little bit of every color that I'm going to use later on in my spread in my title card that's why I always start with my title card first there's a quick shot of my title card now we're going to switch back to I didn't like just doing one card at a time. I thought it was going to take too long. So there's everything. That's the entire right side of my spread. There are pictures of my girls after church. There's a picture of the beautiful waterfront downtown in the town where I live. The bottom right is a picture of my mom and my daughter at a concert outside. Oh, and now I'm going to make one of those fun shaker pockets that I always make. Those are... 3x4 Becky Higgins Fuse brand like flip sleeves that I fill with some, I think that was the pink lemonade sequin mix from Lucy's Cards, and now you are going to see me sew a little bit. My sewing machine is enormous, and I could not physically move it into frame if I had to. So anyhow, I just sewed it shut, and the kind of weird thing is, is that when those sew shut, it almost like hermetically seals it shut for a while, so you can't really shake it. For a while, you almost have to like let it sit there a little bit and kind of the air will slowly come back into that pocket. And then like 10 minutes later, you'll get a real good shake out of it. Oh, and here I'm actually using some washi. I am a part of the Hey Nay Daily Happy Mail group. And I have been getting some really fun Happy Mails, including washi. And I have never really used washi except to decorate my planner. And I got some really fun washies. And I used a gold dot on white and some glitter washi. Like, you know, I always walk past the washi at, you know, Michael's and Joanne and stuff. And never, ever buy any. And lo and behold, I got sent some. So I thought, oh, I'm going to use it. Because the glitter washi was kind of the same glitter as those thickers from Dear Lizzie. And now I'm just slowly trying to decide how I'm going to decorate this. I'm... Kind of getting down there on the ephemera pack from the Dear Lizzie collection. I don't, that's all I've got left are those few little pieces in front of me. 
and I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to use and the sticker sheet. I'm still kind of working on that sticker sheet and I decide that since I'm kind of running out of little word stickers that I'm going to dig out some old Webster's Pages little alpha stickers and I decide I was going to say movie night because they also have movies down at that uh, Levy Park that we went to but it was a concert that we went down to um, for that night. It was Oh, I don't even remember the name of the band. It was Gypsy something, and it was a lot of old people and me and my mom and my kids. And you'll see me struggle really hard to cover up those two nice old ladies that are sitting in front of my daughter. I had to find just the right large piece of ephemera to cover them up. So there I have, it says yes, and then it says concert night. And I'm just adding some enamel dots there. I'm showing you that it's kind of shaking a little bit better because the air has kind of sucked back in. There I'm tapping my fingers because that means I'm kind of running out of ideas. See, and you're going to watch me struggle really hard to cover those ladies up because I tried really hard to get pictures before they got there but or before there was anybody really blocking us. Gigantic pineapple? Nope. Keep digging. That is the Jen Hadfield every day ephemera collection. I also have the cut apart sheet and the stickers from them. So I think I must decide on, oh, a big green leaf that will cover most of them up. And then a flower that I'm going to pop up on a little foam pop dot. And then I'm going to stick happy because it was a really happy, fun night. The weather was just gorgeous. I live in Minnesota. It can get really hot really quick in the summer. Like we usually have a couple weeks of spring and a couple weeks of fall and the rest is either really cold or really hot. But we, it is El Nino this summer so we kind of had a really nice like early to even mid-summer. We only had a couple of really hot weeks. And I'm, oh, I'm sewing a little bit more. I think I sewed, that's the She Blooms from the She Blooms Cut Apart Sheet from Faith Illustrated. And you can't really tell on camera, but I just underlined twice she and underlined blooms um, twice um, under each of those just to kind of add some stitching because I love to stitch on cards and I always feel like I'm always just stitching like on the border and I kind of feel like I need to expand my horizons with stitching on cards a little bit. So I try to do something a little bit different as far as stitching wise. And then I've just got this last card down on the bottom left and that is a picture of, they had some really neat kind of native wildflowers planted down at that park and I thought, oh, I better get some pictures because I love to have really pretty filler pictures for Project Life because how many pictures of my kids can I really stick on 112 by 12? So I like to have some seasonally appropriate filler cards. And then it says, let's go anywhere. And then it says, Levy Park. And I'm just adding some enamel dots and some Kaiser Craft gems. And I've got some of the She Blooms and some of the old Amy Tan uh, enamel dots to get used up there. Okay, and now we have switched to the right side right side yeah so the other one is the left this is gonna be the right side the top corner there I stitched on a three by six piece of pattern paper on top of a four by six piece of pattern paper and that's what I'm gonna end up doing my journaling on these two pictures these two three by fours that I stuck together on a scrap piece are of my girls at a movie and then out to eat with my mom on a Saturday afternoon while my husband and I were both at work the one I'm working on there is another piece of that beautiful white die cut from the Amy Tangerine pack from, I think it's Better better Together, whatever her newest collection is. Then I stuck a big ampersand on there and I'm desperately trying to use that XO because I used that big black thicker friends on my title card and I like to always use whatever that large word thicker is. I always like to use a little bit of it on the other side of the spread to kind of balance things out. Then I've got that big you and me rubber also from Amy Tangerine. Then I'm just adding some enamel dots to decorate it up a little bit and I did sew around the border of that four by six piece of yellow and white striped paper. Now I'm going to work on that those two three by fours that I stuck on just a piece of scratch paper to make them kind of stay together in the pocket. I wrote nom because they were eating, you know, 
I don't know if it was a shake or a smoothie, but they had conned grandma into dessert with lunch. Here I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did on the other side with the same two pieces of washi, and I'm going to embellish it in the exact same way to add balance. Two pieces of washi, a heart, and a gem is really all it needs. And then I made my famous Franken card there. It's a three by four card with another piece of kind of a lime green on there. And then I cut out the make everyday count from the everyday collection and I just stuck that on with some adhesive and I sewed it on and I added some enamel dots and gems. There in the upper right, I just added a really pretty gold butterfly and then it says so in love. And now those two middle three by fours are pictures of my girls and I doing some clearance shopping. This would have been, believe it or not, in June you in Minnesota, you can get really good deals still on winter stuff. We scored like $6 jeans at the Gap. We got like just incredible deals that day um, on leftover winter stuff. And I dragged the poor children to the Mall of America and the Outlet Mall in Egan that day. So they were pretty pooped. So I actually put shop till and then you drop on the other side. Because we shopped like 13 hours that day or something insane. But when you're getting $6 jeans at the Gap, you kind of got to, you know, hit more than one Gap. Okay, this is my last card and this is going to be really quick. I did pause it for a little bit so I could type out all that journaling on my old typewriter. I cut it out. I added some hearts and thickers and everything else. Now here are some close-ups so you can get a good idea of what everything looks like all together. And as always, you can find me on Facebook as Sarah McClellan. I'm active in a lot of the groups. And you can find me as Scrappy Sarah on Instagram. And I will have close-ups and all these same pictures on Instagram too. So thank you so much, guys, for watching my rusty self make a process video. I promise I'm going to get better and the voiceovers will get better too. So thanks, guys. Bye.